Hola a todos, aquí Dieron, estamos en LA Noir y bueno, vamos a volver a ver la intro, que no puedo pasar, ¿no? No, no puedo. A esta señora le van a dar matarile, ¿eh? como ya vimos en el episodio anterior, pero... Esto hay que verlo sí o sí. Female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. The captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, colleague boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset vamos. Boulevard. Let's go. Pues vamos. My wife is so dumb. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn well, evidence. Ah, está adelantado. Está aquí. Venga, mono. Did a decent job on the hand case, though. Not bad for your first time in that. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. Help! Vale. Estaba leyendo lo, lo, el subtítulo, coño. ¿Qué no pasa? Right? Right. Vale, tiene que estar justo encima, ¿no? Might get along after all. Tiene que estar justo encima del, del túnel. A ver si es verdad. Y nos mato a todos. Investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry and of Elizabeth Short for that matter? You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have <laughs> the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do nah, here. Culo, the What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Es que decir que el que capturamos en el episodio anterior. Pues eso, que el, el que capturamos en el episodio anterior era un imitador, entonces, y seguir matando.
Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. Well, yes. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Ahí va, el han despelotado. Daydream. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Lleva dinerillo. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Joder, se oye desde aquí el teléfono. Tiene heridas, se defendió. Encima la han estrangulado. No, en la tama no ya la ha mirado, coño. Se han pisoteado. Y no dice nada de, las piso, de, de los pisotones del, del cuerpo, ¿por qué? Detectives, R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. Could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? Hmm. I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, <laughs> Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display, footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. I'm poco capullo este tío. Can we discuss this later? Let's see algo por aquí. Hey, una botella. Seems irrelevant. Coño. ¿Qué hace Phelps? Se ha vuelto loco. Pues nada, hay que ir al coche. Give me some peace and quiet while I finish up. Vale, pues nada. 
Gente más borde. Ups, el parterre Me carga la almacía Y el correo Deirdre Muller ha sufrido enough, más que enough. No shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Slow and steady, come on! Madre mía. Este tío es un boca chancla, me cae más mal. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Paul? But don't tell me your eyes don't bear. This conversation is over. Madre mía. Tranquilo. Oh, hey, no he hecho nada. Vamos por aquí. Esto está muy lejos, ¿eh? Y me sale por delante. Hay una niña. Puede que me han quemado cosas. Solo está la niña. and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Vale. Bien. No sé qué se supone que tengo que buscar. Mi partner va a explicar todo cuando llegamos 
that, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Junk. Tío, no lo has abierto, no sabes qué tiene escrito. Zapato, a ver de qué talla es. Work boots. Size 8. Tienen barro también. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Ahora debería estar la también la caja del anillo. ¿Qué es esta? No sign of a wedding ring. Vamos a ver la cocina que hay. El limón. El limón es sospechoso. Nothing significant. No creo que esto nos va a ayudar. Vaso. Nada por aquí. ¿Quién deja plátanos en el salón? About mommy, daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Toma ahí. ¿Cuánto tacto tienes? Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Hmm. And did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called, and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Your mom and Dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. Mommy always wore her golden butterfly. Vale, me hemos acabado alguna. This is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Hey, what? Daddy, the police are here. Ready room, Michelle. 
I'll talk to the police. How do you pull me as Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? Hmm. What? But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Here. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You got any way of confirming this story of yours? You son of a bitch. Hmm. You come here making all these accusations. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Hmm. Es que el tío estuvo, la niña estuvo llamando bastante hasta que le cogió. And you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why are you telling me something different? You better think about leaving. Joder. You're going to have some trouble on your hands. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. What happened, Joder. Hugo? You got any theories? Because we're starting to no like you. Una, coño. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped her there. Did you try the parking lot? Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Sorry, my mistake. I think you set this up, Hugo. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out into the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. <laughs> I'm no <laughs> murderer. <laughs> make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. You should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! A ver, la cotilla. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard. 
heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Get that, get, get that to gun. Why are you running? Why are you running? Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. I'm not going to. Tengo, motherfucker. Está quemando los zapatos. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I don't want to home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Aparte del zapato, había algo más? ¿Por qué no...? Creo que he dicho, aquí hay algo quemándose, ¿por qué coño no lo mira, Pels? Galloway, homicide division, badge number 564. Go ahead, detective unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please morgue downtown when he's available. You got it, KGPL. You're gonna drive like this, at least use the silence. I'm gonna call you by Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks, ma'am. Vale, ahora sí nos podemos ir. Vamos allá al depósito. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. Try this one on the side. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Those cases called a lot of people. K to KGBL. We'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. Un mirón.
Vale, vamos a preguntar aquí. Nada. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Es esta, ¿no? What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Casquería. ¿Dónde está el teléfono? Ah, vale. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks. Vale, pues tenemos que ir al instituto. Pero eso lo vamos a dejar para el siguiente episodio, ¿vale? Vamos a ir para allá, pero en el siguiente episodio vamos a interrugar a la gente que queda. Interrugar, sí. Interrogar. Que, que dice interrogar y preguntar, punto. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get into a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Que este tío es un poco alcohólico, el policía. De compañero. todo tan lejos Just go easy, Phelps. Pero si el árbol se ha, se ha chocado conmigo, no yo con él I 
get the point. Ya hemos llegado. Pedazo instituto, tú. This is the car. Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around yeah, no. here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir. I would say so. Yes. There's a son of a bitch now. No, sir. Hey, no, no. Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Corre, Phelps. Corre. Corre a las 40 yardas. <laughs> ¿Dónde va? Si hay un muro ahí delante, tío. Oh, espera, que hay una escalera. ¡Me cago en! Prepara el coche, hombre. Why are you running? Why are you running? Ven aquí, hombre, si solo quiero hablar. Solo quiero hablar contigo. Ven aquí. Corre, Phelps, corre. Uf. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass it, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Hmm. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very Colgante deep de la trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm gonna take out my gun and I'm gonna count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raver coming and they can roll out the red car. Madre que tío más siniestro. Vale, pues vamos a dejarlo por aquí, ¿vale? Al final vamos a tener que coger al mirón Pero bueno, lo dejamos aquí Investigamos el coche y ahora nos vamos ¿Vale? Like favorito, si os ha gustado Y hasta la próxima, adiós